So now go in and play with these fixtures. Um, have some fun with them. Uh, go in the programmer and you know watch them as you play with them in the programmer as well. Uh, like one through ten, there and there. You know I can set the value at full. I'm gonna move the the. Uh, oops, <laughs> gotta hit the position button. <laughs> It's trying to change position, and I get you got to hit the position button. Pan and tilt, you know, go have fun with these things. Uh, 11 through 18 at full. Um, yeah, let's see what else. 11 through 18 at full. Um, let's move the pan up a little bit. Now you're asking color. Color is an interesting thing. Um, some of these fixtures have color capabilities. Some of them do color in a little different ways. The techno lights like the techno beam. Techno beams are old school. They were back in the day before we had what's called CMY color mixing. It's very similar to RGB color mixing. Uh, automated fixtures uh, back in 10 years, uh, this is 2000, 2014, 10 years ago, maybe 15, they would use called CMY mixing, cyan, magenta, yellow, I think. Don't quote me on that. I've never actually asked anyone. <laughs> so what you're really doing, it's the same concept as mixing RGB, except you're doing it inside the, uh, the, the fixture itself. Some fixtures have that. Some fixtures, like the Techno Beam, they just have a, a, a gobo wheel with colors. Um, and let's see, yeah, I'm selected, uh, I'm selected on the Techno Beams, as you see they're highlighted in blue, and I'm selecting color. Uh, there's All you get, really, is just a set of colors. You have two gobo wheels, and that's all you got. They've got colors in them. So there's really not, at least, you know, you can come up here and you can select colors. What's what's kind of fun about this, when you have a basic fixture like a techno beam, I, I, can, s I can click intensity, which is, you know, your default kind of way of when you, what happens when you select the fixtures. Typically intensity, unless you've changed it. If I'm on intensity um, and I select my fixtures, all this stuff's showing up anyway. So it is kind of nice with a more basic fixture is that I don't have to go through and, uh, you know, even if I select different values, these guys just chill up here. So I can just, you know, select a color really quickly if I wanted, and I can change the gobos if I wanted, just just like that. And uh, just super quick. Um, let's see, let's see, we got yellow. Uh, let's see, I'm kind of screwing around with the color right now. Let's position, move the color. Let's see, yellow. Uh, yeah, as you can see there, kind of messing around with the color wheel. But, I, you know, wh what about fixtures that have the CMY mixing? What's so awesome about advanced consoles like these is that if I have an LED fixture, for example, and I set a certain color blue that I like, and then I go to a new show, and they have, they don't, you know, let's say if it was an automated RGB light that was a moving head wash RGB LED, and then I get this automated fixture, well, I don't have moving head lights with that with our LED. I have these studio colors. Well, you can actually like uh, go in if you go into show, uh, setup and patch, you can you can switch fixtures out. And because you've selected the real world value of that shirt, certain shade of blue that you like, it will actually mix the colors the way you want on fixtures that have the CMY capability. That's important to know. Uh, if they don't have their capability, it'll take what it can, the pan and tilt, and it won't take the color because it doesn't know how to transfer. Um, certain colors to certain gobos. I think sometimes it'll actually recognize that a gobo is red if you tell it it's red, and it'll just switch it to red if that's what you, it'll just switch it to the closest thing that you had. Um, I've never tried it. Uh, I don't usually switch them over that much, but I'm sure if you did, maybe someone was smart enough at high-end systems to figure it out. Um, anyway, um, what about color, though? Um, we're not going to get too much into the palettes just yet, though, but if you double-tap color, which is this button right here, double tap that, you'll notice that this color directory shows up. Well, check this out. If you're used to, uh, this is the quick and down and dirty way. You'll notice that this is actually carved out with these lines up here with the color that you've already selected. Um, or with, I mean, excuse me, with the colors that are possible on this fixture. So you can just go ahead and just, uh, I can even take my hand and move it around. And since it's a touch screen, that's the nice thing about having a touch screen. And I can literally just select the colors that I want. So I fix. I'll select the fixtures one through ten again. There it is. So now there's there's what I'm looking for. So if if you're looking at um, the if 
if you're doing this at home on your own, as you move this around, you'll notice that those fixtures are changing their color. You won't see this on the Tecmo games because they don't have that CMY capability, like I said. I think the fixture is 19 through 24. 19, 19 through 23, excuse me. Let me check 23. I can't remember if they have this. I don't think they do. No, they don't. It's just the fixtures 1 through 10 on this show. They have that CMY capability. So I selected blue. If you go over here, hey, they're in blue. Awesome. <laughs> so you're getting an idea. Um, in fact, uh, let's see if I can. No, it's I can't show you both at the same time. It's unless I fix the window. Okay, so that's that's basically how you would set things in the programmer. Let's look at the programmer here. Uh, fixtures one through ten that I've been messing with. You see the hue is all messed up. You can actually use the jog wheels because uh, it's just hue and saturation. You can actually use those guys to adjust the color if you wanted. I don't really do that that often. It's just easier for me to look at the color and change it. Now for you, oh, capture is about to close up on me. Uh, that's the downside. If you remember, the demo version is uh, limited. But now, as I was going to say, well, what if, why why this is opening up? What if um, you you know you're a theater guy and you use like an elation? I mean, excuse me, like a I'm trying to think what's the board name use it that often the um, ex it's <laughs> it's an uh, ETC board the ETC Express let's say if I use the ETC Express a lot um, and I like that board and I use gels a lot and I'm used to gels but I haven't really had the chance to you know you know I, I there's this particular color that I want on this fixture and that's what I want by golly and I'm gonna get it you know <laughs> so there's actually a way to get that um, next to this palette, uh, in the palette, if you look here, you hear, see like a s color swash. Hey, guess this, guess what? Here's your, uh, your colors. Here's Lee, here's Roscoe, uh, uh, Gam colors. Let's say if I want Roscoe 80 to be my color for this fixture. Make sure, one through ten. Make sure that that's what I selected. Okay, yeah. It'll actually show you what it can get, at least. Let's say, what was it, Roscoe 80 that I wanted? Whew, well, it looks like the closest I can get is 85, which is the deep blue. Bam, selected it. Uh, for some reason, that didn't work with me. Oh, there they are. Uh, you know what's funny? I hit the highlight button. Uh, full. Hit the highlight button, and you actually see the blue pop up for a second. Remember what, it, what we do with highlight is that it actually removes all those colors. So, in fact, I cannot get this darn thing. Let's see if I can get it to. It's because of reset. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I had to reset that feature. Let's see. So there's the the color that we picked. Well, if I pick, um, what what if I pick uh, Roscoe 208? Oh, hey, there we go. That's that's the best you can get at least. You're getting the idea, and what's cool is that it actually moves it over here on the color picker. Uh, Roscoe 24, the old school Scarlet. Uh, you're hopefully you're getting the idea as well on what you can do with these. And you know, once, really, once when you got which the look that you want, there's nothing special other than what I've showed you already. Everything's exactly the same. Select your your master that you want, and then just hit record, cue, enter, record, cue, enter. Bam, there it is. I hit the clear button because I want to demonstrate this. Clear. Then I'll hit the play button. And that's what I had earlier. Looks like crap, but you get the idea. So, in the next video, I'll go and l uh, I think I'll go. I have to reevaluate where I'm at already, and we'll see where we go from here.